So as a software engineer, this is my mechanical keyboard. It is the Apple Maker TH80 Pro and I have bought it from Amazon as a pre-built. It has a 75% layout, meaning it is a bit more narrow and it doesn't have the extra numpad on the right. I chose the Flamingo linear switches for it that are looped and not that loud. The case and the gradient keycaps came with it and I find them pretty calming. Here is a sneak peek on how it actually sounds, just in case you're curious. I will also do a mouse sound test before to calibrate your audio expectations. I have seen that this is what the pros are doing in their videos. As you go deeper into the iceberg, you will learn, as I did, that keyboard enthusiasts customize theirs much more than this, and they end up spending hundreds of dollars for one. For reference, mine was about 100 euros. Pretty much all the parts are interchangeable, from the case to the switches and keycaps. There are custom ones with different colors or themes, and software developers love this stuff from what I've seen. At first, when I tried the mechanical keyboard, I couldn't get over how loud it was sounding. It was a bit satisfying as well, hearing all that clicking as you typed away. It was a bit like driving a sports car and hearing the engine sounds. Not that I would know very well how that feels. And I know what you are thinking, all those clicking sounds might become a bit distracting from work, depending on you. But that was because I was trying a keyboard with clicky switches, which are the loudest. There are also tactile switches which are quieter and linear, as I have now, which are the quietest. These types of switches also differ on the resistance they provide when you press them, but that is another subject. The actual point I wanted to get across with this video is that a mechanical keyboard might become a productivity hack for you as a developer, and that can happen for several reasons. The first one is that if you choose a colorway of case and keycaps that you like, you'll love using it and you'll end up working on it more. But the second reason and the most important one is that if you love your keyboard, you will also get into the whole improving your typing speed topic. And that is a game changer. Going from 50 words per minute to 120 is a huge difference that will make you tremendously more effective. Imagine being able to transpose all the thoughts from your head on a computer in near real time. That is a superpower. And when you write code for a living, that is even more beneficial. To improve this typing speed stat, that is measured in how many words you can type per minute, also called YPM, you can practice on different websites that are solely created for this purpose. I am not affiliated with any of them, but I really like MonkeyType and Type Racer. MonkeyType has words that are not related to each other. It lets you type for one minute and then it will calculate your score. Type Racer, on the other hand, lets you compete with other players on who can type the fastest a common text that is taken from somewhere, maybe a song or a book. And here the whole experience is gamified. You have a car avatar that you race with and stats in the entire site's leaderboard. The last two tips that I will give you before ending this video is to stop looking at your keyboard when you are typing. You should feel it by placing your index fingers on the keys that have the bumps. They are called homing keys and usually are F and J. Also, when you misspell a word, go ahead and use a keyboard shortcut to delete the whole word and write it again instead of only deleting a few letters back. This shortcut for deleting the whole word on Mac is Shift Option and Arrow and on Windows is Control Shift and Arrow. If you have any other tips for writing faster or own a custom mechanical keyboard that you really enjoy, let me know in the comments below. Cheers and happy coding!